Right. Come on. JJ, you want to get us started with Josh here? Hey, Josh, how you doing? I'm doing good. Playing football again. What would it like to get back out there? It's awesome. You know, you put a lot of hard work in in the off season, and just to come out, come out and be able to do what you're working so hard for, it's a lot of fun being out with the guys, competing again. Was it any different from the fall practice? Coach said uh, you guys seemed a little bit more efficient. A hundred percent. You know, Coach Coach Lunny and Coach Trailer talks about all the time that you know where we left off last year has to be our floor this year, and we have to go go even higher and our expectations are higher. So, you know, where we left off last year is our floor and we're picking up where we left off and that's our goal and, and just building off of that. Uh, Coach Trailer was telling us he wants more, I guess, bullets in the gun for lack of better terms, as far as the offense, you, you feel that's going to be what this spring is going to be all about for you guys? I definitely think that's one of the areas that we're focusing on is just being able to attack the defense um, a little bit more and have more bullets in the chamber. And, and uh, you know, it doesn't mean that we always have to use them, but they're there and they're efficient and we're really, well, we're really good at them. So that's, that's really what we're working on, one of those things. I wanted to ask you about your rehab last year. What was that like and just kind of what, what went through your mind during that process? You know, obviously it was, it was tough. You know, I finally get the shot to go out and start and, and I broke my collarbone and that's the first, first game I've ever missed due to injury for football. Um, but, you know, God gave me a, a real sense of peace about it. And the training staff was awesome. It made it fun for me to come every day and, and to work hard. And three and a half weeks after surgery, I was already throwing the football again. Um, so it was it was something that we worked really hard and, and it was a process. But at the end of the day, I think it made me a better football player and a better man. And I'm, I'm really grateful for the, the training staff and, and all that they did for me. I think I counted eight quarterbacks in on the field today. What is it any challenge in having that many players at your position? Um, I kind of see it as just facilitating competition. Um, you know, that QB room is still really tight and uh, we understand that you have to compete for the reps and, and you know, there's a lot of guys in there and it's just iron sharpening iron. And, um, you know, the coaches believe in that and we believe in that and, and we're having a lot of fun. And, and obviously the reps, sometimes you don't get as many as you would like, but that's not really what we're there for. We're there to compete and, and to work as hard as we can and make the most of the reps that we do get. And, and that's kind of our attitude, all of us. Hey, Greg. Josh, along those lines, do you feel like this period is an important time to sort of, you know, stake a claim to a spot on the depth chart, or is it more about just kind of getting reps and learning some of the new things? Like, what are the, what's the overall focus here? For myself or for the team or what are we? Uh, how about for both? So for the team, I think it's about building and it's about growing on where we left off last spring and having all culture meet our expectations and just continuing to grow and get better each and every day. And I think we're on the right track for that. And and for me, it's it's always competing, trying to be the guy um, and, and trying to be the best that I can be every single day that I'm out there. And obviously that comes with, you know, being more efficient and and also learning the offense better. But um, I'm, I'm feeling really comfortable with it. And it's just about me going out and competing. How much different is that competition process this year, given that you guys have a spring and an offseason to really work with the coaches rather than last year where it was so condensed? Um, you know, it makes all the difference to have extra time, extra relationships and more time to, uh, you know, watch film, talk football and those relationships have grown and, you know, our off, off, uh, off the field things like throwing with wide receivers on our own and, and things like that. It makes all the difference, you know, that extra time that you get to get. I mean, when I was, when I first got here, you know, it was like, I just in the middle of summer and I didn't have much time and, you know, it's the same thing with the guys because of COVID. So just having that time and that repetition and getting to know each other and, and getting familiar and, and working together, that makes all the difference in the world as far as on the football field. And, and you talked about your recovery and injury situation a little bit, but did you, I'm curious, did you end up coming back quicker than anticipated or like what was the timetable versus how it played out? I think, I think it was four to six weeks. Um, so I think that was right at the four week mark is when I got cleared, um, which just goes to show, I mean, that's as fast as you can possibly come back from a collarbone and, and the surgery that I had. And it just goes to show just the hard work that the training staff does. What a great job they did to, to get me healthy and ready and, 
and keep my spirits up and, and really just made a lot of fun for me. And I appreciate that. We didn't really know it at the time, but that, that game against UAB kind of ended up being the, the difference maker in terms of the, the divisional race there. Do you ever think about like what could have been if you had been able to play that game or if you, if you hadn't had that unfortunate injury pop up when it did? Of course, I'm human. You know, I, I would have loved to just go out there and play and, and finish the game. Um, but, you know, at the end of the day, things happen. And, you know, you can't really think about what could have been you know, the team, we fought really hard. And unfortunately, you know, it's just a few plays, just like any close game that really decided that game. And, and um, you know, I ask anybody on the team, if we had those back, I think we, we would have won that game, you know, regardless if I was in or not. And, and um, you know, you can't, you just really got to build off of that. And obviously we get them this year, we get to play them again, and, and hopefully we'll be able to uh, set the record straight and, and, and come out with our best foot forward. All right. Thanks, Josh. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Yeah. See you guys. Thanks.